What is happening fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been doing well and welcome to another lookbook. Just a quick update for you guys. This is probably going to be the last, the very last video filmed out here in New Mexico because uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my vlog channel and watched those videos, I am moving back to New York. It's finally happening. I really appreciate you guys for the support and I cannot wait to see what comes for whenever I move back. Better content, better scenery, more fashion. You know, New York is the fashion capital of the world. New Mexico definitely isn't. But anyways, you guys are here for the looks. We got three outfits today. So let's check out the first outfit. So this is look number one. I kept the vibes of this fit more skatewear-esque because the one good thing that came out of this quarantine is I really picked up skating again. I always did it here and there and would ride around and all that, but I would never try progressing like I did before. So that's the one blessing of 2020. So I've leaned into that aesthetic quite a bit recently. However, with this fit, let's just start off on the kicks since we're already on that topic. Instead of normal skate sneakers like my Nijas or Vans, I'm just rocking a simple pair of white leather sneakers from Oliver Cabell. White leather sneakers, guys. The best footwear purchase you can make, in my humble opinion, along with Vans. These are more versatile though. I used to just associate white leather sneakers as, oh, it's a menswear piece i'm not really into menswear i'm gonna stay away from that however i should slap 2018 johnny upside the head because that is false when you stay 100 percent true to a genre it only limits you in my humble opinion should jordans only be worn on the court and solely on the courts that's ridiculous anyways rant done these white leather sneakers are basically almost exactly like the common projects. The pants are the Carhartt Flex Dungarees. These definitely top the Dickies 874 work pants in my opinion. Has the same straight cut fitment and vibes. However, you are paying double the price at $44, which is still cheap and affordable. I cuffed the pants along with throwing on crew socks to give the fit just some more depth. And also mainly because the kicks are slim. Now rocking Air Force Ones would definitely call for letting the pants break on those or cuffed as well. I'm not really into showing my ankle anymore, especially with more relaxed straight cut pants if i'm going to cuff my straight cuff pants there has to be a pair of crew socks behind it now with the slim and skinnies i'm gonna let the ankles show the top comes from one of my boys clothing brands here in albuquerque 505 represent brand is called astral you guys can check them out you guys know i'm big on showing love to the locals this shirt is printed on bella canvas so just be aware if you size up this is a large by the way it's going to drape a lot but where an item is sourced with whether it be Gildan or Bella Canvas, it's not a big deal because at this point, you're paying for the design and the local love. The necklace pendant actually belongs to my grandma, but she passed it on to my mama, who passed it down to me. Gotta show love to my culture, and side note again guys, if you rock items that are just a part of you and your lifestyle, ain't nobody's opinion out there should mean anything to you. I'm Chinese from Vietnam, it's already a part of my lifestyle, so I just own it. Then I topped it off with a maroon colored beanie from Amazon. It's hella cheap and I just picked up a bunch of colors as you should as well. And the rest of the jewelry consists of the Orient's Kamasu, some rings, etc. So for the second fit, this is another aesthetic I like to get inspiration from and lean into a little bit, and that is more of that tech wear tactical aesthetic. So this time, let's just start from the top and move our way down. The top does come from Lululemon. This is the Confluence Snap Down Overshirt, and the main purpose for this item was to be easy to throw on. You know, it's got two-way stretch, very comfortable, and it's a great transitional piece for whenever fall rolls around. I really like this because when you think of Lululemon, you don't think of street wear, you don't think of tech wear, you just think of athleisure. So this piece actually changed my my perspective and I really dig it. I buttoned up the top few buttons, you know, it gives off a little bit more of that Valence vibe if you guys know about that brand. It's one of my favorite brands. It's just way out of my price range. But anyways guys, the snap down buttons actually gives it a, a pretty cool look. You know, with the bottom buttons exposing the color of your shirt underneath. It's a great way to add some contrast or just a little pop of color. In this case, I'm letting it contrast against the darker shirts that's underneath because with any tech wear outfit, you always see an all black look, okay? So I decided to switch it up for this outfit, not roll with the typical all black look, especially when I shot this video, it's kind of hot outside. But hey, I'm trying to find any excuse to wear a tech wear outfit. This is the last outfit I was shooting in New Mexico. I decided, I decided to go all out, okay? Give me a break, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the shirt underneath is actually the bamboo tee from our sponsor today, 
Essentials. So real quick guys, let me firmly thank Essentials for sponsoring this video. I really do dig their bamboo tees. It's one of the best t-shirts out there. I'm not trying to hype it up. I actually really do like their shirts. The fitments, if you guys like fitted clothes, is amazing, especially with the Confluence snap down over shirt. I have to wear a fitted shirt. If I wore a boxy tee or a relaxed fitting tee, you know, it would wrinkle and ruffle up inside the sleeves of the Confluence shirt and it would just look really awkward. There is a time and place where you need a fitted shirt, even if you don't like fitted shirts. So if you guys if you guys haven't heard of Essentials, they are a brand started by the Zanigas. Shout out to them. And they make high quality basics for men. If you guys have seen my looks, you will hardly see any hype stuff. I'm just not into heavy branding and I never really was. I do have a few Kith shirts here and there, but I personally just look for how things are cut and how it was designed instead of just branding, branding, branding. And that is why I really dig Essentials. And this Saturday, August 29th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, they are dropping their new collection. And they've got plenty of new items and colorways, as well as their new work shirts, newly designed aloe vera pants. But also, you cannot go wrong with their basic bamboo tees. They are dropping a baby blue color that looks pretty dope, and much, much more. As always, every time they launch, they sell out, sometimes even in the same day. So guys, click the link in the description down below. You guys can use my discount code Johnny10 to save some money. There is free shipping domestically. And I just want to thank you guys in advance if you guys use my discount code. It massively helps out this channel. The best season of fashion is right around the corner. So if you guys have been hesitant on picking anything up from Essentials, I definitely say that now is the perfect time. There are pro members. They do have 24 hours in advance to pick up their own items. So you guys want to head on to the site right on the dot before they sell out. And once again, I really appreciate you guys and thank you Essentials for sponsoring this video. So anyways, moving on to our pants. We are rocking the Deploy Cargo Pants from Nike Lab ACG Fall Winter 18th. <laughs> that's, that's, that's such a mouthful. These are incredibly popular and they've actually gone down in price. Thankfully, I did pay a pretty penny for these, unfortunately. If you guys ever roll with these pants, just, I'm telling you. This is a size medium on me, and it's a little bit too baggy for my personal taste. Now, I do have a black version, which is a size extra small, and that is beautifully fitted, even though it's still somewhat baggy. And fortunately, these actually are very breathable in my opinion. I don't get too hot in these like other technical cargo pants. And then closing off the fits, we got the Vans checkered slip on. And I actually think it complements this look very well. Surprisingly, it feels pretty cohesive in my opinion. That is the second fit. I really want to encourage you guys to try out new aesthetics and just stay tuned because fall is coming up. I'll be making more videos about it. Finally, for the last fit, we kept it very simple. Sometimes, the simpler, the better. Of course, the bread ones, classic. I'm never gonna sell these. And every so often, someone tells me, your shoes look too big on you. You should size down. 11s are not your size. Hey! You think I'm that stupid to size down just so my feet can look more proportionate? You shut your- Anyways, guys, can't beat the 2016 breads. These are complemented by the cargo pants I recommend to anyone that asks for a good place to start with cargo pants, Essentials. And also these cargo pants pockets have a really sleek design, nothing too crazy. If a minimalist style is your vibe, I'd say these are a definite pickup. And that wasn't even part of the ad by the way. The top is from Uniqlo, this is the Airism Oversized Boxy Tee. I talk about these tees enough, I've mentioned it many many times, you guys can watch previous videos if you guys want to know more about it. It's perfect for summer even though the fit is all black because Airism actually cools you. And I personally believe having different cuts of fitment gives you options and expands your fashion spectrum. I don't like to subscribe to one fitment, one style and all that, but anyways, I'm rocking the same family chain as the last fit and topping it off with a gray beanie. I like this fit because it's so simple yet the colors work really well. Black and red you can never really go wrong with and the gray beanie just breaks up the fit, especially because I'm Asian and I have pitch black hair. The beanie just adds that little bit of contrast that was needed with this outfit. Alright y'all, those are the three looks and this is the last video filmed on Albuquerque. Been quite a journey. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys' favorite outfit was. If you guys haven't already, followed me on Instagram at FlowerJohnnyTai. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my vlog channel so you guys can keep up to date with me with my move to New York and all that. And of course, turn the like button blue for the YouTube algorithm. And until then guys, stay fly, check out Essentials, and I'm out. Peace.